and welcome back to another episode of Algebra One with me, Miss G, here at MPB. Today, we're going into Unit 2.1, and that is slope intercept form. If you've been following me for now, as you see, my colors have changed. So keep following and keep watching so you can see what we have up next. So our standards for today. The first standard is A-CED.1, and that is to create equations and inequalities in one variable and use them to solve problems. Include equations arising from linear and quadratic functions and simple rational and exponential functions. A-REI.3, which says to solve linear equations and inequalities in one variable, including equations with coefficients represented by letters. A-CED.2, which says to create equations in two variables to represent relationships between quantities. Graph equations on coordinate axes with labels and scales. S-ID.7 says to interpret the slope, which is the rate of change, and the intercept, which is a constant term, of a linear model in the context of the data. So, let's go ahead and get started. Big idea number one. So that is, let's go over what is slope-intercept. Slope intercept form of a linear equation is written as y equals mx plus b. Your y intercept is going to be your b, and your slope is going to be m. So let's see what does that mean in the context of writing in slope intercept form, going from a graph to slope intercept form, and then also when given two points, finding that equation for a slope intercept. So if we have this equation, y equals 4 fifth x plus t, well, if we know that our slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b, and we need to identify the slope and the y intercept first. So our slope is going to be 4 fifth, that is your m. And then our b is our y intercept, which is 2. Now, let's move on to step number two. We're going to then use the y-intercept to point a point on the line. So our y-intercept is two. Well, if our y is two, our x is already going to be considered as zero. So therefore, it's pointed at zero comma two. Step three is to then use the plot to point a second We'll use the slope to plot a second point. So our m, we're going to use four fifths as our, it is our slope. So we think of it as our rise over our run. So our rise is when we go up vertically. Our run is when we go horizontally. So we're going to go up four units and we're going to run to the right because it is a positive number five units to the right. Therefore, we should be moving up four from two, and we should move five units to the right from that y-axis. So if we look here, we've moved up four units, one, two, three, four, and we've also moved five units to the right, one, two, three, four, five. The only thing now is to draw a line through those points, which is what we have here. Big idea number two. What is the equation of the line in slope intercept form? So now we have been given a line. And so now we have to figure out what is that equation going to look like in slope intercept form? Well, here are some steps. Step one, find the slope between two points on the line. So find two points on that line and write out the ordered pairs for them. So for our first one, we have zero comma one. 
The other one that we have is 4, comma, negative 2. So we need to figure out where, do, where does that line pass through. So here we have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And that is going to give you the slope. So from our two points, we use both of those y's. Therefore, we have negative 2 and 1. We subtract them. Negative 2 minus negative 1, or you could say 1 minus negative 2, you're going to get negative 3. Same thing for our x's. We have x2 minus x1. Once we subtract those two, we get 4. Therefore, our slope is negative 3 over 4. The next thing is to find the y-intercept. The lines intersect the y-axis at 0, 1. So the y-intercept is going to be 1. So for there, you're just looking at what is my y, which is 1. Step three is to then take those pieces, take the slope that you've gotten, take the y-intercept that you have, and write it out in that standard form, which is y equals mx plus b. So therefore, now all we're doing is substituting in our values.